From metal to seawater, nature is filled with electrical conductors. However, we are able to push the limits to the extreme to defy physics, making fascinating materials known as superconductors. In this video, we will go over what they are, how they work, and some of their applications. In a plain old conductor, say a copper wire at room temperature, there is plenty of resistance that hinders the flow of electrons, or electricity. As the electrons whisk through the wire, they climb from atom to atom, bumping into their nuclei in the process. As they collide, electrical energy is lost and heat is generated, which is essentially what resistance is. But in the case of superconductors, an electric current has no resistance, so no energy is lost. If we send a current through a superconductor and disconnect the power source, this current will circulate there forever. So then, how do we make a superconductor? So far, the most reliable way is to cool a metallic material down to an extremely low temperature, say 4 kelvins. That's literally 4 degrees above absolute zero. For example, to make mercury into a superconductor, we need to cool it to 4.19 kelvins. But if its temperature reaches 4.2 kelvins, it becomes a regular conductor. This temperature where superconducting materials transition is called a critical temperature, and as they transition, they expel the magnetic fields inside it, causing the entire material to repel other magnetic fields through a process called the Meissner effect. Zooming into the material, Cooper pairs form between electron pairs, connecting them together despite being opposite charges. Under this state, the electrons are able to flow through the superconductor perfectly without bumping into any other atoms, effectively nullifying resistance. Those materials sound neat and dull, but where would we even use them? Going back to the Meissner effect, since superconductors can repel magnetic fields, it is able to make other metals levitate, hence why we often see pictures like this when we search up superconductors. This is practical for maglev trains that levitate above their tracks or particle accelerators to ignore friction. Another use for superconductors is in machines, such as MRI machines that perform brain scans, that need to generate strong magnetic fields without melting the equipment, since this process can easily create a lot of resistance and heat. Though all of this may sound impractical, since superconductors can only be made in very low temperatures, copper oxide materials have been created that exhibit superconductivity in temperatures as high as 77 kelvins, which can easily be chilled by liquid nitrogen. We call those materials the creatively named high temperature superconductors. And there we have it, superconductors are special materials that allow electricity to flow with zero resistance as they pair up electrons in super low temperatures, forcing them to not bump into any atoms on their way through the material. And with the ability to repel magnetic fields, superconductors find themselves in many different applications, which are still being expanded on today. I hope that y'all have learned something interesting today, thank you for your time, and stay hydrated!